Get him? Get him? Is that like big him? What are we doing here? What kind of serial adventures are we going on? Fine. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse towards the top of your screen. You see, this is how you do time travel, Chrono Trigger. Arr! Virtual reality helmets. Yeah. All right, so we got to Old Spice. Where's New Spice? Dr. Rosaline, why am I in charge of you? I know you're the commanding officer, but still. Eva. <laughs> oh, how I wish. How I wish. Let's save. How I wish I could save. We'll save right here, because that save also had Dr. Rosaline, Rosaline, and Dr. Neil Watts together. Notes. No notes. How can we do notes? Toy Platypus. Duck build, dare I say. All right. Magnificent. Um, Eva. What was the name of the chick in Resident Evil that Leon's always telling to wait? Uh, Blanking. I don't know. Let's just say it was Dr. Rosaline. Dr. Rosaline, wait! Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. There's no paintings on the wall here, Johnny. Ugh. What are you doing? Your artistic creativity sickens me, Johnny. Your lack of artistic creativity. There we go. Clock. Ha! Huh. Received a note. Clock. Magnificent. This is what we're going back in time to see. Notes. The clock in Johnny's house never tick. The clock in Johnny's house never tick. Shouldn't that be never ticks? Pardon me. Shouldn't that be the past participle here? Ticks? No, the verb? The past tense verbs? Ticks? Or should I say took? I don't know. You're the scientist over here, Dr. Rosaline. Why am I piddle pissing around all the way in here still? Go down the stairs! Nice piano. Nice big fuzzy thing on the wall. What the hell is that? We're being enveloped by darkness. You think the darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the darkness into your house. I didn't know the light until I was a man, and until then the darkness was only the only thing I knew. I messed up the line, damn it, Dr. Rosaline, I blame you for my incompetence. You merely adopted the dark. Blah, 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 blah. By that time, that I was a man, the light was only blinding. I love how he says blinding. Okay, where am I going? Let's get out of this dump. Let's go into the blinding light, dare I say. Hello? To the lighthouse we go? To the lighthouse we go! To the mountains! The hills are alive with the sound of Johnny's memories. Yes, yes, you can see that I'm on today. But that's it. But why, that's why I'm in control of Dr. Rosaline. Let's sit on the bench, Doctor. Tell me your inner darkest secrets, Dr. Rosaline. What's in room 101, Dr. Rosaline? Rosaline. I guess that's what's in your room 101, Meta Knight Kirby. Dr. Rosaline, not Rosaline. Oh, what's... What is this? <gasps> Old man and woman. In memory. Piano. Johnny? Johnny, is that you? John, what a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. What a nice young couple you are. <laughs> what a nice old couple we are. <laughs> I'm old. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, or Rosaline. I can't remember which. It doesn't matter. And this is... Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. R R Lorenzo Von Matterhorn, I should say. <laughs> Lorenzo. I'm trying to put extra R's in it to make it sound fancier. Dr. Neil Watts. Fine. You can keep that identity to yourself then. I just revealed myself to you and you think that I should stay under the surname of Dr. Neil Watts? This was my big reveal. But fine. Keep me under wraps. I can take it. Urgh. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life generation? No. Generation X for life. Oh, are you two from the Agency? No, we were just inquiring randomly. How convenient. <laughs> I've just been thinking of calling you. <laughs> it's not like uh, we're thinking about untimely deaths or anything. <laughs> Lily, get us some tea, please, and try not to fall off the cliff. Lily? Lily? Wait a minute. Lily? 
Isn't that the name of the housekeeper lady? Oh, wait, yeah, me, the, me, the... Wait, so that's the housekeeper lady. Why is she dressed all fancy-like? And why is she so frumpy in the future? Actually, you've already called us. You're dying right now. Don't panic. I said don't panic! Dear Lord, we're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. That's really creepy. You couldn't have said it any better. Whatever, I guess bluntness is the way to go. God, I hope you get paid by the lowing, lowering rate of suicides. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're going to have to reload this memory. Dare I say, load the save state. <laughs> Watch it, Neil. Show some respect, or I will use brackets in a more affirmative way. Don't make me pull out the brackets anymore, Neil. I will bracket your leg so hard that I don't even know what I'm saying. Show some respect to my incompetence, Dr. Neil Watts. <laughs> it's just a program, you know. You see, I can break out the brackets too, you britch. I know, but this is his last accessible memory. We need its cooperation. It's... It's is a memory, and it... Is it a physical thing that you can refer to as an it? What is a memory? What is a man but a pile of memories? And if you strip them all away, if you can control the past... I'm getting back into 1984, I'm sorry. Continue. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. <laughs> you know, rebo rebooting memories. It's pretty simple. Why would you waste time like that? Because that's who I am, Dr. Rosaline. Don't you know that I go off on monologues and things that have nothing to do with the game that I'm playing? Please, Dr. Rosaline. It is not a waste of time as long as you entertain people. My god, are you so blockheaded? Blinding. Really? Continue. You are insane. Yes, but I'd rather be insane than boring, John. You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Oh my god, he knows too much. Vaporize, vaporize! <gasps> yes, John. We're here to kick you in the ass so hard that you fly up into the moon. Turn around. Be gentle, I don't have an asshole. I suppose I had a good run. That's right, Johnny. They always told me that I'd live forever and outlive everybody that I ever loved. <laughs> Showed them. <laughs> Not good enough, it seems. Not convincing enough. I blame you, Dr. Rosaline Eva. So, can you do it? Can you kick me in the ass that hard? Really, though, Dr. Neil von Lorenzo von Matterhorn Bratwurst von Neil. Can you do it? Dr. Neil can do anything he desires. Pokemon battles, kicking down childhood memories, freaking out with platypi. I can do anything. Can you take me to the moon? This better not be a rhetorical question. We can't, but you might be able to. We're just scientists. We're putting it all in the lighthouse keeper's hands. You're the one who controls your future, John. Johnny, whatever your name is. Why do you want to go there? It's lifeless and barren, like Dr. Eva Rosaline. I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you to go there. That sentence hurt me so bad. Do you want fame? The fame? The money? The esteemed prestigiousness of becoming Dr. John Neil Von Moon Watts? You've got to have a motive. You can't just randomly pull the moon out of your ass. Oh, I'm sorry. The surgery. I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. But I really don't know. There's just something in me that wants to plant that flag on that moon. It just calls to me. He doesn't know. I just... just do. Do I really need to have a motive for having the greatest wish in the world? To go to the moon? What inspires a man to explore the depths of the sea, or explore his own soul? Because sometimes, you just wanna do shit. Don't you see? 
You don't need to have a clear motive to do shit. As long as you have the drive to do it, just do it. I hate to be a, an advertisement for Nike, but do it and give me money. Oh, he's breaking out the brackets again. I can already tell this is going to be a pain in the ass. Not Dr. Watts pulling out the ass card yet again. Insensitive, but we love you for it. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll do. Dot, dot, dot. That's it. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do in one memory hop. We're breaking out the dramatic music here to explain everything. Thus, you will need to traverse through your memories with a gradual leap backwards. Backwards leap. Which you've given us the permission to do in the <laughs> relative future. <laughs> Dr. Watts, I love you. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for distant, direct, sorry, access, we will return here. So basically, once we've gone backwards through your life, examined the whole thing, then we'll hop back here and say, hey, you can go back and change yourself. That's when you will need, wait, that's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood. You, wait. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. That sentence hurts me. Wait. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you... You... Ow. Or to get on a gigantic catapult. That's right. You see, Dr. Watts and I think so much alike. First, it's a boot in the butt, and then it's a catapult. Really, though, science. The point is... You'll need to have more. Uh, you'll have to say more than just, I don't know. We gotta have more than that. We can't just do this because you don't know, okay? We gotta have some kind of background of this. Otherwise, we can't have an emotional story. We can't just base a thing on, I don't know. Why do the people fall in love? I don't know. Why do the Titanic sink? I don't know. You just can't do it. You can't hold and I don't know unless it's like some kind of tragic like why did this happen why do bad things happen to good people I don't know okay you gotta give us more than that okay as long as you can take me to the moon I'll cooperate in any way possible that's exactly what I wanted to hear John Johnny whatever moon man good the process has begun now in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? Memento, I've heard that's a very sad movie, but I don't know. Give us something. Ah, that will do. By the way, just as a reminder, when we began Act 1, we had a quote that said something like, I always thought of them as lighthouses, and when I was uh, uploading this and reflecting back, I looked at this and I'm like, wait a minute, does he mean the rabbits? Why else would the rabbits be all up in the lighthouses and stuff, and why would he obsessively make that? And what else could he be referring to if not those? The platypi? I think not. It's not even a platypi, it's a platypus. It is singular. We only have one, you see? Well, shall we? Ladies first. Johnny? Get on the spot. Control. I'll take that. Received note, moon, hey. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Memento, prepare, do nothing. Okay, I'm gonna read my notes. Moon, objective. The moon is, wait. The moon in Johnny's memory is full. Never empty, never waning, never anything, never a blood moon. Not yet. Not yet. Platypus. 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 Bunny! Actually, wait. Do nothing. Uh, I can't talk to him. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Prepare. Begin. Oh my goodness. Some kind of technological mumbo-jumbo happening here. Complete the memento. Click the orbs to flip the pieces. What's this? Click the orbs to flip pieces. I don't like this. Or maybe I do. Okay. 
The memento can now be activated for traversal. I don't know what I just did. Scientific expert Dr. Neil Watts would approve.